Hello, it's Alcohol Home Productions, and I am here with Lego Cool Designs Week 5, and this is a special week because I'll be breaking down all the techniques I used in this mock. So, let's get started. Alright, we'll start out here with the forest area. So, for this, I, um, I made a separate tutorial a few months ago, quite a few, of how to do the forest the way I do the forest so if you want to check that out it's a card up on the top except this is something new I added these pieces right here this is pretty basic I just took a green headlight piece and started on the side like this and for the other one I just took a cylinder piece and put it on top of that. so now on to the trees on the trees on the top, I just scattered all these pieces around, layered on top of each other. It's pretty basic. I would say they're not all even. Just kind of stick them on a brick, and that's it. So now on the actual tree, there are a lot of different things I used to make this as detailed as I could get it with the pieces I have. So basically, I start out with this. So in order to accomplish this design, I used these pieces. So what I did was just take the regular brick, and then I put this piece on top of that, on the back of it, and then did this, like this. Then put the cylinder piece on top of that, then this, like this. And then all you do is put that brick there, and it fits nicely on top of it like this and then you can just take the other one behind it and it fits really nicely so the next design I used in this tree was this right here which is basically just these two pieces here stuck onto the headlight piece which is turned it could doesn't have to be a headlight piece it could just be a regular piece of the stud on the side and then I just place it on there and it has a nice curve. And the next few things I did on the tree is just some more um, studs on the side. Or more use of the headlight piece, which I had a few of. And up here, there, all it is is just these pieces upside down, stuck on some plates. And then there's just some s snot around the tree. And then the last thing I did in the tree was just some of the pieces sticking out of the uh, leaf, large leaves there. And that is about it for that. Now in this next tree, I used a lot of the same techniques um, on the bottom, a lot of snot, bit, and uh, upside down slopes. There is one more thing I'd like to show for this tree that I did not use in the other tree. Alright, so we have ran into a little bit of a dilemma here. So as I was turning the mock, I didn't realize how close it was to the table. And it kind of fell off. So I'm actually going to use this to my advantage though. This is this right here is what I was going to show how to do. So all I did here was built a little staircase type thing put it on the side like this and then I took this piece right here and it just kind of went in nicely like that and yeah so you can see the trees a little more in depth I guess a little bit destroyed yeah Alright, so I brought everything up on the table, and I'm just going to use this to show you a some of the stuff in the front in more detail. And yeah, there's that rock work. 
I'll go over more detail when I get to this all fixed up again. Ah, yeah. All right, so as you can see, I got it all fixed up. And now we will move on to all the rock work. All right, so down here I used a lot of different techniques. A lot of them with just setting bricks on the side. All right, so right here I just took this wedge piece and st stuck it onto these two bricks. And then below that I just have a one by two by three just sitting down on there. It matches perfectly, lines up perfectly with four bricks across and a uh, tile on top of it. And then over here, what I did was make a design like this. And then I laid it on side with a one by two there and a one by two by three inverted there. And then it just fits nicely on the top like this. And then to fill in that other gap, I stuck a 1x2 in there, and then another one on top of that. And I think it turned out really nice right there. Alright, moving down the line a little bit, we have this little um, angle here. I think this is the really one of the smoothest. It's where you have a 1x2 and a 1x2x3 there. And then you make a design like this. And simply place it on the side a little bit, makes it match up really nicely, especially you have the other bricks on top. Um, and then moving down, we have, I just, pretty self explanatory, um, this for right here, just, uh, sorry, 1 by 3 on the side, um, 2 by 2 plates there, and then a little more complex thing. Alright, so what I did right here is I took a 2x2 two two tile and put it on a basically this right here. And then I stuck it down in the back and angled it as much as I could. And then took a Two by three and or one by three and uh, one by two. Right there. And then moving down a little bit more, I have this uh, kind of long part on its side here. This right here is just that just stuck together as close as it can. And there's three layers here. They're all just kind of stacked on top of each other. And yeah. All right. So this next part, it's another design where you um, take some one by two by threes together, just different bricks, and then you place it on its side. And it looks fits really nicely right here. Um, just look right here on how I did it there, and then just kind of put it on top. And now moving down a little bit more, I have another one of those. Uh, so like this, and then you see it's straight here, and uh, one by two by three there, and it fits really nicely on its side like that. And there is also a, there is also two slopes right there, and then it just fits nicely like that. All right, now for the final bits of the mountain. To see in this area, I use dark tan because, and that mixes really nicely, also with the brown path. Um, yeah, and then I used another wedge down here, the same as I did in the beginning of the... So this is a design I use a lot in my park work. So, basically what you do, uh, you just take the turnkeys, don't know what it's called, and then you stick a 1x4 slope on one part, and then a 1x3 on the other, and then it just turn it down, and it fits nicely with the... 1 by 2 slope there, and then next to that I used a 1 by 3 here, and then that is it for that side, and then coming over the other side here, um, I'll go back to the bridge, later I just have a 1 by 3 slope right there on the bottom part, and yeah, now onto the other side of the mountain.